In this video, you will learn how to make 3D stitching like this in Blender. Blender version 2.79 is being used while creating this video. Let's start by deleting this cube. Right mouse click to the cube to select it and press X and enter to delete it. Add a monkey by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh, and Monkey. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view, and press 5 for orthographic view. Zoom the view in by scrolling mouse wheel up. Expand this right side panel to unhide some of the tabs. Click on this object modifier tab, click on add modifier button, and click on subdivision surface modifier. Set the view value to, and click apply button. Zoom in the left eye of monkey to see it better. You may need to pan the view by pressing shift plus middle mouse button. Press tab to enter edit mode. Locate your mouse pointer exactly to this area and press Ctrl plus R keys to add an extra cut. When you see a pink line around, left mouse click to confirm cut and move this cut little bit inside, and again left click to release. Add another cut from inside and drag it little bit to the outside. Now zoom in a bit so that you can see the center edges easily. Press and hold the ALT key in keyboard and right click on one of the center edges to select entire edge loop. Press SHIFT plus D keys on the keyboard to duplicate the selected edges, and right click to restore the location. Now press P key on keyboard and click selection to make it separate object. Expand this outliner section clicking and dragging down here. Double click on Suzanne.001 and rename it curve so that you can identify it later easily. Now click on this eye icon to hide the curve from the view. Make sure that the monkey is still selected, and press tab to enter edit mode. Again press and hold the alt key in keyboard and right click on one of the center edges to select entire edge loop. Now zoom out a bit and rotate the view little bit to the right. Now drag this green arrow slightly inside to the Y axis. You can press shift key while dragging to control the dragging speed. Once you are done, press tab to return back to object mode. And from the tools menu, click on smooth. Now click on add modifier button here again, and click on subdivision surface modifier. Let the view value to be 1, and click on apply button. Now go back to the outliner section again, Click on this eye icon next to the Suzanne to hide the monkey, and unhide the curve. Come over here and right mouse click on the curve to select it. Under the tools menu, click on set origin and choose origin to geometry from drop down. Now convert this object into curve by pressing alt plus C, and clicking on curve from mesh text. Move the 3D cursor to the median point of the curve by pressing shift plus S, and clicking cursor to select it. Now add a cube by pressing shift plus A, mesh, and cube. Zoom out the view and scale the cube down by pressing S, 0.1, and enter. Scale this cube on the X axis by pressing S, X, 3 and enter. Press tab to enter edit mode. Now press Ctrl plus R keys on the keyboard to add some loop cuts, Increase the number of cuts up to 3 by scrolling mouse wheel up. Once you have 3 cuts, left click to confirm cut and right click to release. Come down here and click on this edge select tool to activate it. Right click on top left edge to select it. Now press and hold the shift key and right click on the top right edge to add it to the selection. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Now move those edges down by dragging this blue arrow like this. Rotate the view slightly to the top and select these two edges again like you did before. Again press 1 for the front view and pull those edges down like this. Now select only the center edge and pull down to little bit above the other edges. Now locate your mouse cursor to the left face of the object and press Ctrl plus R button to add a cut. Left click to confirm cut and move it near by the left edge, and left click. 
Now locate your mouse cursor to the right face of the object and press Ctrl plus R button to add a cut. Left click to confirm cut and move it nearby the right edge, and left click. Once you are done, press tab to return back to the object mode. Now go to the modifier tab, click on add modifier, and click subdivision surface modifier. Set the view value to 2, and click apply. Come here to the tool section and click smooth. Now scale it down by pressing S, 0.05, and enter. Again come back to the modifier tab, click add modifier, and click array. Zoom so that you can see it better. Under this relative offset, click this right arrow once to make stitches apart. Increase this count value up to 4 or 5 for now. Now click on modifier and click curve modifier. Scroll this panel up so that you can find curve modifier settings. Under the object, click on this little cube icon and select curve. Zoom out to see the stitches following the curve. Now go to the outliner and click on this little eye icon to unhide the monkey. Now select this curve by right clicking on it and press tab to enter edit mode. Press A key once or twice to select all the vertices of curve. Now press Ctrl plus T keys on the keyboard and move your mouse pointer to the correct direction to align the stitches to the monkey evenly. You can zoom, pan and rotate the view to see the stitches direction. Press Ctrl plus T keys and keep on twisting the curves until you are happy with it. Now press tab to exit edit mode and right click on one of the stitches to select them. And finally increase the count values under the array modifier settings. Once you are done with adding sufficient stitches, you can click on apply button. Also apply the curve modifier. Now right mouse click on the curve to select it, and press X and enter to delete it. Now right click on the stitches to select them, zoom out and rotate the view little bit to the right. Now you can pull these stitches little bit in or out to align it more efficiently. And this was a quick tutorial about how to make stitches in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.